this is my first order of the day. It's for Uber Eats. And it's at Old School Bagel, y'all. Getting ready to pick up my order. Okay, got the order. On my way to go make my first delivery. Okay, I'm going to make some keto chow this morning to take with me on the road. Very simple to make this. I'm going to be using apple pie this morning. Apple pie. Okay. I just need my container here and I have the a mixing ball that goes in here. That comes with your little keto chow kit if you order a keto chow like this. This is 524 calories with how much protein? 30 grams of protein. And I will be using a heavy whipping cream with mine. I'm going to put a, how much is that I'm supposed to put in here? Um, half a cup. So I've got my half cup measure. I'm going to put a half a cup of my heavy whipping cream in there and shake this up really, really good. Put it right in here. Okay. And to that, I'm going to add um, two cups of water. And I use bottled water. Got my water here, and I'm going to add two cups of water. So I'm going to put four of these. Two, three, and four. Okay, and that's all there is to it. From there, we just shake it up. Yeah, I really shook it up, didn't I? But from there, we'll just shake it up, and you have your keto chow. Anyhow, I'm getting ready to do a dash. Woo, I'm still sweating from that workout. But that just means that my metabolism is high. Got something on my shoulder. Anyhow, start your day with some exercise. Let's do this. We got this. So this is my break fast this morning, y'all. I'm going to break fast with keto chow, and this is the apple pie. I have never had this before, but there is over average about 500 calories. Um, I believe it's either 30 or 33 grams of protein in this. It's about seven uh, carbs, with two of those being five or so, five net carbs. It's a great way to break your fast also, or to have any other time of the day. It's a meal replacement. So this is how I'm starting my day, how I am breaking my fast. I'm taking this with me uh, as I get ready to DoorDash. The keto chow was really good. The apple pie keto chow, I was really surprised by the way it tasted. And I would buy and use that again. Here's my salad. I'm getting ready to eat this. However, I didn't get to put my protein in my salad, which is what I normally do. So I probably will uh, pick up some protein later on and add to my salad um, as I am out today door dashing. Okay. Oh, we don't have to wait. So. I made a quick salad and brought it with me. I added in half an avocado to this and some slices of tomato. And it's this uh, particular salad's got the snow peas, the romaine salad, carrots, red cabbage, regular cabbage, lettuce. Um, so good variety here of my veggies this morning. And this is about 
I would say about a cup and a half or two cups of vegetables. I'm making my delivery here. And we're open two shoes a day. Oh. Got this. This was two stop order. Hey, I'm picking up an order from McDonald's. I've been busy this morning. I was signed in for both Uber Eats and uh, DoorDash. And DoorDash is slow, so I'm doing Uber Eats right now. Like this fall. I have arrived at Samurai Sushi to pick up my order. This was a stacked order, you all. So, two orders in one. So I am at Goru Ramen, a very, very nice establishment here in the El Paseo District. Should check out the food, really nice place. The food smells delicious, and I have plans to come here and eat very, very soon. This is a stacked order, so I'm getting ready to go ahead and make this delivery. And as you can see, it is very, very hot outside today. I believe it's about 91 degrees so far. Hot, hot, hot. I'm making these Uber deliveries. Okay, nice out here today again, you all. Downtown Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. This is about my third delivery. To me, it's been a slow day today. Okay, get ready for another pickup. So I have been out door dashing just about all day today and getting home late, had to go out and pick up some food that was already made. So we went to Del Rancho and got a steak sandwich and we had some onion rings. Me and my husband shared. So I'm probably gonna have to start my 75 hard challenge over. Um, but I don't consider that a cheap steak sandwich. Anyhow, it was good. I really enjoyed it. But I still have to make my chili because I have everything taken out and taken down. So I'm going to go ahead and start that tonight. Um, I'm probably going to finish tonight, but let's just go ahead and get started. I have my meat over here on the cabinet. Okay, so I have my meat over here on the cabinet. I'm going to go ahead and put my meat in the pan and get it started and then I will be back to share with you what I'm doing. Okay, this is my chili meat. So I'm just going to mash this chili meat up really, really good and season it. And I'm going to go ahead and let this cook and brown. Now in here I have my um, ground beef and I use the 7327. I usually like to use real lean. But I use the 7327 and then I have a uh, package of sausage in here also just a regular pork sausage so I'm gonna let these meat cook together really really good I'm gonna go ahead and put my seasonings in here too oh shit the phone okay my seasonings and I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up really really well
This is the seasoning packet that I use, and this is just a seasoned blend that you can use. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and drain my chili first before I add everything. Okay, so my meat is cooked there, and I'm going to go ahead and drain that. And here I have some vegetables cooking over on the side. This is some red bell pepper, green bell pepper. I have some celery, I have some onions, and I have a few tomatoes in there. And I'm just drying these out. I usually use a seasoning packet. This is a seasoning packet that I'm using here also, and it's a frozen seasoning packet. I'll see if I can show you that. Here I've cut up some tomatoes, diced some tomatoes that I've been using along with a little bit of tomato sauce. I am going to be using the two alarm uh, chili kit and I'm going to go ahead and mix these here ingredients together with a little bit of broth and add that to my chili. Okay, to my chili I'm going to add two cups of water and the seasoning packet. One cup. I'm just going to add a cup and a half. About a cup and a half to start. Go ahead and add these seasoning packets. Okay, now I, I have added my seasoning packets, two cups of water, but I actually added one and a half cups of water and my seasoning packets. For my seasoning, I have some paprika, I have some granulated minced onion. I have some chili powder and I have some oregano and cumin. To this, I'm going to go ahead and add my vegetables. My vegetables, I've dried them out from my seasoning packet. I'm going to go ahead and add all the vegetables in. Plus, I'm going to also add in my diced tomatoes. Okay, let me stir all of this up really, really good. There is the chili it's cooking. I'm going to go ahead and add preferred tomato paste, but all I have is some tomato sauce, so I'm going to add, add the tomato sauce to this. I'm going to let this chili cook for about 30 or 40 minutes and start simmering you all. Then I'll come in and taste it and start seasoning it from there. Now, some people like to add beans and different stuff to the chili. You can do that if you like. I don't um, like beans because I don't eat beans just because I'm keto, but I, I like beans. Beans and corn, I love. Don't get me twisted. Okay, there's the chili and it's simmering. It's done. Y'all, this chili is so, so good. I tasted it. But season it like you want it. Look at that. Needy. Delicious. Let that finish. Okay, this is the next morning. So let me go ahead and show you the chili. It's ready. I'm going to go ahead and get a bowl of it. It looks so, so, so good. Let's see if I can show this to you. Here's the chili. Doesn't that look good? It's got all the different vegetables in there. They've sauteed and cooked down, and they're really good. The bell peppers, the onions, the garlic, the celery. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and dip this chili over here. I don't have a ladle. Okay. Chili. Doesn't that look good and delicious? Now, if you want a juicier, Less meteor, then you can add, uh, you know, a little bit more water, or a little bit more broth, whichever one you're using. I'm going to go ahead and add some cheese to this. And some sour cream.
a bit of, this is the queso quesadilla cheese that I am using. Mm. A little bit of sour cream. Here is my bowl of chili. I've added some cheese. I've added some jalapeno peppers and some sour cream, y'all. Delicious. This is a great comfort food to have, especially with the weather changing. Mm. I'm going to enjoy this chili. I have this in the refrigerator. Anytime I want something to eat, I'll be able to just come in this week. I have a bowl of chili, and I'm going to also make some crackers. When I make my crackers, I'll share that with you. Oh, this is keto chili, you all. Um, very, very good. Um, you can also, you know, just eat it. You can make this for the whole family. They would not know the difference in this chili. I think the only thing that's probably missing is beans. If you like to put beans and other things like that in your chili. Mm, it's so good. Hey guys, if this video has helped you, please give it a thumbs up, like, and share. And please subscribe to my channel. So that way you won't miss any videos that I release. And if... I say anything that helps you along the way, that's what I like to do. Thank you.